Osteoarthritis, or OA, is a disease of the whole joint, leading to and perpetuating inflammation, cartilage degeneration, vascular changes and pain. OA affects more than 12% of people in the developed world, and for many there is no effective treatment. At Paradigm, we are repurposing pentosan polysulfate sodium, or PPS, a well-known molecule that has been used for other diseases for many years. PPS is a semi-synthetic molecule derived from beechwood that acts upon multiple disease-causing pathways in OA, suggesting it may have disease-modifying potential. We are investigating the potential of PPS to break the cycle of disease in osteoarthritis. Inflammation is a normal response to injury and is critical to the body's ability to repair itself. However, sometimes it can fall out of balance, leading to chronic illness such as osteoarthritis. During inflammation, pro-inflammatory cells release cytokines, such as tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF-alpha, and interleukin-1 beta, or IL-1 beta. These cytokines trigger a broad range of effects, including activating the lining of blood vessels to increase the number of pro-inflammatory cells at the site of injury. In the case of osteoarthritis, this continuous accumulation of pro-inflammatory cells becomes a self-perpetuating cycle that causes progressive damage. When exposed to TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta, internal signaling occurs within the pro-inflammatory cells of the joint, leading to the activation of a molecule called NF-kappa-B and permitting its entry into the nucleus of the cell. This leads to the production of numerous pro-inflammatory genes associated with osteoarthritis, as well as increasing the production of TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta. NF-kappa-B activation also leads to the production of nerve growth factor, or NGF. NGF in the synovium, chondrocytes and subchondral bone stimulates and activates pain-sensing nerve cells, intensifying joint pain. NF-kappa-B also increases the production of enzymes that break down the cartilage, such as ADAMTS5, making joints more vulnerable to damage. As cartilage deteriorates, degradation products such as COMP and CTX2 are produced. Joint dysfunction due to cartilage damage causes more pain and inflammation, which progresses to further joint destruction. The resulting vascular injury and occlusion within the joint traps immune cells at the site of inflammation. PPS works by inhibiting activation of NF-kappa-B, which reduces the production of pro-inflammatory genes in the nucleus. Reduction of TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta further decreases the accumulation of pro-inflammatory cells at the site of inflammation. With reduced NGF production mediated by PPS, pain sensitization is also reduced. A decrease in cartilage degradation enzymes and products suggests that PPS may also have a protective effect on cartilage. This is currently under investigation. PPS also has anticoagulant and fibrinolytic effects, allowing release of trapped pro-inflammatory cells, further clearing out the inflammatory complex from the joints. With PPS, we are approaching osteoarthritis from a completely different angle. We're shifting the paradigm.